Hey, what is up, YouTube? I am the Nerd on the Street. This is my demo of Windows 7 Ultimate. You know, I am obviously filming this with the camera in front of me. Uh, I looked for good screencast recording software, and I could not find any. Like, some of it you had to pay for or had ads. Some of it had time caps, and some of it saved in, like, .swf formats. Which I know I can look up converters online, but um, I'd really rather not because uh, before I had this installation, because this is a fresh installation, I had like 20 different uh, conversion programs. So if you guys have any good screencasting software that you would like to recommend, feel free to drop me a comment and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. You'll see this is my laptop, uh, kind of pretty old. It did come with Windows Vista, you'll see there. And there is no sound because, uh, well, I'm using the included microphones, which are the, or headphones, which are the best headphones I have. It's an entertainment computer. Uh, but the built in speakers are broken because they are in the display and it's been opened and closed so much. The wires, I guess, gave out. But we'll go ahead and get started here. So the first thing you'll notice is up here in the corner, the gadgets. Here. Uh, so yeah, the gadgets there are nice. Um, you'll see when I hover over them, there is no sidebar. And there's no buttons in the top left. If I want to add more, I have to... Uh, I have to right click and I have to click gadgets there and then it would give me my um, my list of gadgets that I have installed but you'll see I uh, drag them out here and see some of the screencasting software like the frame rate was cut down this is great though because I have a really good quality camera um, so you'll see it just snaps up and then snaps to the side we'll get that out of the way so we can do this again snaps up and then snaps to the side and so it still aligns itself with screen positions same with this one uh... you'll also notice the button there on the side of it the expands uh... whoa focus ah there we go sorry uh... you'll see the button right there larger size and that makes it just a little bit bigger smaller size makes it smaller duh and you can make gadgets now bigger or smaller like you can drag it out and make it bigger and you can drag it back in to the side and it won't be any smaller and you can drag it back out and make it smaller so even though there's only two sizes you can choose between the two sizes no matter where it is on the desktop now that's not available for all available for all gadgets you'll see the clock here does not have that but uh... it's much better than the way that vista did it uh... down here the new notifications center um, taskbar i guess it's called uh... you have the windows arrow uh... desktop peak feature and then you click it to show the desktop if a window is open um, you have the clock there and you know you click it to have your date and time uh, I like how it says the time and the date there because it's a bigger taskbar it's able to uh, sounds the new connect to thing uh, which I preferred vistas connect to feature because this is just a little pop-up see if I go to the start menu and I click connect to it's still gonna be that pop-up there's no dedicated window, which I just like things that look all big and fancy. So that's probably why I miss the other one. Um, pin flicks, uh, Bluetooth there, USB. Uh, the Action Center is very, very useful. Except some stuff, like if you want it to not nag you, like set up backup. I have a backup program on my computer that I use but it doesn't recognize that it only recognizes windows backup so things like that uh... i don't like but uh... i have microsoft security essentials usually i'm not using this um, i'm not going to say what i use because i don't want to endorse one thing or another at this time 
but I am just using this because once again, like I was using IE9 for a while instead of Chrome, I did want to get the full Windows experience so that I could judge this properly. I have Skype open. Here is the tablet PC input panel. You click that button. So you click it and that pops out there, slides in and out. Uh, so you can tell, like, I can touch it with my finger easily, except my screen is not calibrated, especially with my finger. But I've got my pin here that came with my laptop, uh, and then I can tap that. And it is uh, nice. You'll see this is what it looks like all the time on Vista was it did this where it's that thing and you can move it around and then you can tap it that was how it was oop, on Windows Vista and from those four failed attempts you can probably guess that it was easier uh, to do it down there with the button down here is I mentioned the quick launch and the open programs are in the same place like uh, Chrome is in the quick launch right now do I have any YouTube open? Um, Alright, because those restart. Alright, so I'll close my Chrome thing, and you'll see there it's not open. It's just there. But you'll see when I click it, it doesn't appear again over here. It just, that one is highlighted now. So it's actually not ridiculously difficult to um, manage. Uh, yeah. Technic, I'll uh, be doing some videos on that soon. But the uh, taskbar is not any more difficult to manage. I love the new one. It looks great. And you can put it back somewhat to the other one. Let me uh, show you if I screw around with the options for just a couple of seconds. If I check in Use Small Icons here, uh, and then I click Never Combine in that drop-down menu, then I click apply, goes down there, and then you can change your window theme to uh, have that darker. But you know, uh, this is how it's going to be in Windows 8 too, um, at least in the arrow part of Windows 8, because Metro is going to be quite a bit different. Uh, next, Internet Explorer 9. I know this does not come with Windows 7, but it is optimized, or at least looks like it for Windows 7. I had it on Windows 8 too. Uh, firstly, it's, it is easier to manage with a tablet computer. You've got a whole lot less buttons, um, a bigger task bar at the top. This was what I was talking about in the Let's Talk video, how I said that it's great how they put the address bar and the tabs on the same row to save space, but then they totally waste the saved space by putting that extra bar up top. Um, once again, I think they did that to stick with their normal API, but come on, Microsoft, you broke your API with Windows Media Player, uh, before. You can do it with Internet Explorer. Um, so, yeah, you can see the back button is bigger than the forward button, and I know these things don't seem like they make a lot of, uh, difference, but it really does in the overall experience. I mean, I go back more than I go forward. And really, just subconsciously, it feels better. So we're going to type in my new website that you guys should all go to, nerdonthestreet.tk. Uh, it's .tk because it is a free domain name forwarding service. It's on Google Sites right now. I do know HTML, but... I built this on Google Sites because I wanted to have time to get a really good website out right away instead of just uh, instead of just taking a long time to get an okay looking website out. I'll be designing one in HTML over a couple of weeks and then I'll release that one. How's that sound? Okay, so you'll see it loads really quickly. Just a couple of comp uh, other things. AOL.com, which is a very slow website. Sorry. Uh, it's just not as fast as other things. Loads very quickly. Um, there's that T-Mobile ad you see everywhere. Uh, uh, we'll go to CNET.com. That's it, right? It's not CNN? No, it's CNET. Uh, so yeah, that's there really quick. 
we'll do uh, apple.com and they updated their home page finally the last site we'll go to is youtube.com um, so that is a little bit slower and it's there uh, the ad is of course the last thing to load close ad uh, so everything is here you know um, and apparently I'm not signed in but because I haven't been using Internet Explorer lately but yeah it's a whole lot just cleaner the entire Internet Explorer 9 interface and one more thing I want to show you in Internet Explorer manage add-ons and you can disable them without uninstalling them which you cannot do before it tells you how long it takes to load and how long it takes to navigate using them um, and I can't show you right now because I've already taken away most of them but it will actually tell you if it's taking more than a tenth of a second to load and it'll say would you like to disable this uh, add-on here's the new start menu it's a bit more transparent as I told you um, and I added some of the things on the right side over here it's not normally that tall it's not normally this tall anyways I also pinned some stuff to the top there you'll see the slight line and I also increased the number of programs that it shows and it is uh, a whole lot better than Vista's I do love that they added the shutdown button back here because back in Vista that button was the sleep button and if you wanted to actually shut your computer down you'd have to click this little arrow and click shut down at the top which sucked um, search programs and files that's great like right now I don't have my tech it uh, shortcut anywhere accessible so I'll type in tech it and oh wait so I'll type in tech so I'll type in tech there we now I know how to spell it uh, let's just do minecraft minecraft all I had to do was type mine C and it is registered as a file but you saw how quickly it popped up hopefully um, so yeah uh, love the search I love how it doesn't spend hours indexing like it did in Vista um, and then there's this uh, it is a whole lot faster than Vista it just fades in and I don't have nearly all of my programs installed right now because this time I uh, was installing them manually usually I use Nanit. Uh it's a auto installer that you can install many programs at once but I was not using that this time but you'll see some of my basic programs and some of the extra ones I was just trying out recently are there and you just you know you click on a folder and it opens uh, so that's great um, here you'll see paint um, just to show you the ribbon because I don't have uh, well yeah the ribbon I like the ribbon it's not usual it's not what Microsoft has done in the past I think it's a good change so you'll see you know you just click the different buttons on the top of the ribbon and it pops back and forth uh... oh crap um, I'm really gonna try and keep this video under twenty minutes uh... here is the it's called the file menu now uh... and I know it says paint there but this is uh... the same in a lot of programs now that use the ribbon that are built into Microsoft Office or Microsoft ugh, that are built into Windows now, I highly suggest you watch my let's talk video if you have a little time on your hands um, see here we're in notepad and you'll see they still have the file edit format view help me, uh, menus there it's a nice and simple thing and I like the fact that they kept it on one of their programs because you know Windows veterans can be like oh that's that's the one that's it um, and here we have WordPad, which is the uh, more complex alternative to Notepad. It's basically, uh, well, yeah, it looks 
kind of like Word, not as many options, but here is how you can make this look more like the file menu if you really want to. Click minimize the ribbon after you right click on it, and whenever you click on something it'll pop up. You'll see I'll type there, and then it'll pop up over the typing. It will not shift things down. So that's a little bit more like it, but you'll see it still goes side to side. It's not like the old file menu. I suggest that you embrace the change, um, because even if you don't like it, you can't really do anything about it unless you write your own programs, um, or use, like, LibreOffice. But... Uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you in Windows 7, and I don't want to make this video too long. So we are going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't already done so, go and watch my Let's Talk videos. I did create those before I uh, recorded this. So thank you a whole lot, and I will see you in the next video.